On June 20, 1987, in the mountains of Ararat, Turkey officially recognized the discovery of Noah's Ark. Located on a mountain side about 15 miles south of the volcanic Mount Ararat, the remains of the massive ship were dedicated during a special ceremony. Guest of honor was Ron Wyatt due to his 10 years of research at the site. The story began in 1957 during the Cold War when aerial photos taken of eastern Turkey while searching for Soviet missile bases revealed a strange boat-shaped formation in the mountains about 6,300 feet above sea level. Life magazine reported on the story after an expedition from the United States went to the site in 1960. Blowing holes in the strange formation, the members of the team came away with the conclusion that there was nothing there of any archaeological interest. Ron Wyatt, like many others, read the story, but he was of the opinion that the site needed further exploration. There had been many claims of seeing Noah's Ark on the volcanic Mount Ararat, but Ron knew that it was a stratovolcano, and he believed that nothing would have been able to survive there. He noted the biblical account of the location of the Ark. And the Ark rested in the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, upon the mountains of Ararat. Uratu, the biblical Ararat, was a large region in eastern Turkey. This location was certainly feasible. But the factor that captured his interest the most was the length given in the Life magazine story, 500 feet. Most people were looking for a 437-foot Noah's Ark based on the Hebrew cubit. But Ron again went to the Bible to learn more. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. Moses was the author of the Genesis account of the flood. He would have known the cubit of the Egyptians. The Hebrew cubit didn't come into existence until there was a Hebrew nation after Moses' death. The Encyclopedia Britannica stated, The Egyptian cubit is generally recognized as having been the most ubiquitous or universal standard of linear measurement in the very ancient world. The royal cubit equals 20.62 inches. This would mean Noah's Ark was much longer than 437 feet. 